Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about how to create and manage sensitivity labels. You can create and manage both sensitivity and retention labels in Microsoft Office 365 Security and Compliance Center. You can find that under classification. Don't worry, I will take you to the exact place where you can configure that in the later part. Microsoft 365 Compliance Center, which includes information protection, records management, and information governance, and all are part of Microsoft 365 Security Center. When creating labels in a predictive environment, you should consider these high-level steps. Things like define the label. You need to pick a fitting name that describes its purpose, then define what each label can do. Things such as information, protection, retention, or deletion. And you would have to define who gets these labels, like which departments, project teams, or single user. After creating and configuring labels, you need to publish them to make them available to people in your organization. And these labels can be applied manually or it can be applied automatically as well. Automatic labeling is a feature that requires Azure Information Protection or AIP Plan 2 licenses. Now I'm logged into my Microsoft 365 Admin Center. I have to go to Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. So I'm going to go to different portal, which is right under Admin Center. You can directly go by going to compliance.microsoft.com. So sensitivity labels can be created under information prediction, which can be found under solutions. So go to information protection. As you can see that there are a few labels created already. If you want to create a new one, click on create a new label. Provide a name, description. You have, you have an option to turn on the encryption or remove. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to keep it as none. Content marking is where you can set up the headers, footers, watermark content with the label. So you can add a watermark, a header, and a footer. And then if you would like to customize what the watermark text, this is where you would be able to add those details. Again, if you look at it, you can change the color, the font size, and the way it is displayed on the document as well. This activates automatic classification with labels. This is where you can apply some conditions. So when the content matches these conditions, label will be applied automatically. Next. And this is how you create a label. So this is how you create an information protection classification label. The next one is how to create a retention label. So to create a retention label, we have to go under solutions. This time, this is placed under records management. So click on records management. Under records management, you can go to file plan. As you can see, there are a few file plans labels created already. Create a new retention label. Give it a name. This is where you can give details like file plan descriptors. Reference ID is a unique ID for further processing and documentation. Which business function or department are these documents referred to? Which category do these documents fit into? Which types of requirement is met with this label? 
which regulatory requirement is this label referred to. So once you provide these details, click next. This is where you would be able to turn on, which activates retention for label documents. When this label is applied to the content, you would be able to add details like how long would you like to keep this retention for? Would you like to delete this content automatically or do nothing? Or do you want to retain this content, etc.? So all of these policy changes can be made. All of these policy changes can be made over here. And finally, you can re you can review the details and click on create a retention label now that we have created a classification label and a retention label let's go and find out how to assign labels to these label policies so for that i'm going to go back under solutions this step i'm going to go back to information protection go under label policies this is where I will be able to see all the policies available. Let's pick one of these policy and you can click on. You can either edit the policy and view the details of the policy. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the policy. I'm going to select publish labels. And I can choose which label I want to select from. I'm going to select the sample one which we created. Click Add. Done. Next. And you can select where would be where would you like to apply. So I can choose like all location or I can go back and choose a specific app. I can remove a particular Microsoft 360 for service or I can make changes to the sites. or recipients or accounts, etc. All of these changes can be done over here. You can name the policy, give the description and review the policy before applying it, and read it. And it, it will take up to one day for label to appear to the users. So don't expect this label to be published and take effect immediately. And once you complete it, you can click on publish labels. Similarly, for the retention label, I'm going to go back to record management, go under label policies, click on publish labels, and this is where you can find the label you just created for the retention label. The process is pretty similar. Click next. You can choose a location or you can select all Microsoft 365 services, name and review the policy and hit on publish labels. This is how you create a classification label and a retention label. And then once you have these labels, create a policy and publish it. Now that we have learned about how to create and manage sensitivity labels and retention policy, in the next video, we're going to talk about how to create and manage data loss prevention policies. So we'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.